Hello knowledge seekers this is Shoman from oil and gas field quality control Do you know how to lower welded pipeline strings into the trench Let us discuss this subject in little bit detail What is lowering Lowering is a pipeline construction process where welded line pipe strings are getting lowered into the excavated trench in a synchronized manner maintaining a gentle s curve to prevent any damage or buckling to the pipeline section let me elaborate a bit why it is synchronized the welded pipeline is heavy around 70 to 80 maximum 90 pipes connected together whatever the diameter might be the whole section of more than 1 kilometer it is heavy so there should be perfect synchronization between the side boom operators the crane used in pipeline construction you know it is known as side boom the boom is at the side and other side is balanced by a counterweight so that's why this crane is termed as side boom this is specially manufactured to to help construction of pipeline so before we go for lowering in detail let us see in the whole major construction processes where actually lowering is situated i am talking about the sequential activity while constructing a pipeline first we will do the site survey and mark pipeline route as per pipeline plan and profile drawing next we have to prepare the pipeline access road which is also termed as right of way in short row after uh, making row civil um, excavators will go and make the excavation for the trench along the route then the line pipes will be strung beside the pipeline right of way so that after welding it can be lowered directly into the trench next activity is welding of the line pipe so part string can be starting from one pipe 900 to 1.2 kilometer long strings then the next activity is our discussion today which is lowering of the welded string inside the train Immediately after lowering, tine welding will happen to connect all these 1 km, 1 km strings together to complete the pipeline and then we have to backfill the trench to cover underground pipeline. After the backfilling, first with the sweet sand and then it can be backfilled with some marl which can have small stones also to have the stability of the berm. Then we need to prepare the pipeline berm. Marl and sand cover should be 900 mm from the top of the pipe followed by pipeline hydro test and final acceptance. Now we know where is the lowering activity taking place during pipeline construction. Now let us have some understanding about lowering. In pipeline construction when we are ready for lowering pipeliners like us will understand these couple of things by default. The line will be underground, which also means it is a gas pipeline. For safety reason, gas pipelines are always underground because gas is not visible. In case the gas is leaking, if it is above ground, people might die because of the toxicity of the gas. The lowering string will consist of welded line pipes. What we need to lower? we need to lower the welded line pipes which can be a single pipe up to 70 or 90 pipes considering one pipe length is 12 meter so the length is maximum 900 to 1200 meter or 1.2 kilometer as the line is underground welded pipe strings are resting just beside the trench on temporary mall pads or on wooden or plastic skids the pipeline trench is clean from rocks with sweet sand pads inspected and accepted by project inspection team. Before lowering, we need to do inspection of the site. What we should inspect? The bottom of the trench will be free from rock and other materials that can damage the pipe or pipe coating. Slings or lifting pipe will be nylon or similar material to prevent damage to the pipe surfaces. Wear rope slings shall not be used. Pipe strings or portion thereof will not be moved until all joints have been fully welded and inspected. 
Each string of the pipeline shall be cleaned to remove debris. All the equipment such as side boom, crane as well as the operator shall be certified by competent third party prior to mobilizing to site. The roller cradles which may be used during lowering shall be padded to prevent the damage of the pipe coating. Loading rating of lifting equipment such as slings shall be verified prior to any lifting activities. Certificate of the riggers and operators used for loading or uploading of the pipe must be valid. We have to prepare couple of things before we start lowering. So let us have some look what we need to prepare. Obtain the necessary work permit for this activity. Ensure that all NDT and field joint coating work for the concerned pipe section is completed. Prior to lowering, trench inspection will be carried out to meet the requirement and required precautions will be taken to prevent the trench from collapsing. Make sure that there is no person or any foreign material inside the trench and no person standing between the pipeline and trench. These are all safety recommendations but we should know. Near to the road crossings on the pipeline route, clear sign will be set. Specific person will be assigned for monitoring. Only authorized person will be allowed to enter the site. Prior to lowering, when the pipe is free from its supports, visual inspection and holiday detection will be performed at required voltage using full circle holiday detector for pipe coating and all defect and damage will be repaired. The trench bottom shall be prepared and ensure pipeline string shall be supported inside the trench with the maximum allowable unsupported length of 3 meters. Just prior to actual lift, toolbox meeting shall be conducted with all the involved operator and signalman to discuss about the steps and sequences of lowering in activity with respect to the actual ground conditions to avoid any sort of confusions. Prior to proceed, the adequate number of lifting equipment shall be calculated and reviewed based on the string length, weight, location of the string in terms of distance come height from actual trench bottom. A pad of selected bedding material shall be placed under or around the pipe to provide a minimum cover of 200 mm thick inside the trench prior to lift the string. Now execution of lowering shall be started. So let us have some sequence during execution. The side booms with sufficient capacity will be used to undertake the lowering in activity. The location for side boom standing will be cleaning out without any hindrance. Lowering in will be preferably conducted at highest ambient temperature of each day. Lowering will be conducted under safe conditions so as to avoid stress and deformation or damages of the pipe or coating. The section of the pipe string will form a gentle and smooth S-curve without exceeding allowable elastic bend radius specified in relevant client documents. The lowering in operation shall be done by client certified riggers or third party certified rigger under the complete supervision of site superintendent and site engineers. During lowering in, the operator of each side boom will adjust the height and forward distance of the lifting boom accordingly. The pipeline will be laid in the center of the trench slowly until the whole stringing is in position. The lowering in of one pipe stringing will be completed in the same day, must be completed in the same day. Flat slings will be applied for lowering in. Roller cradles are not applicable in the following conditions. As compared to flat slings, roller cradles are having less friction. In the conditions, flat strings are mandatory to avoid any accident. On the slope or terrain with vast fluctuation, pipeline with lots of bends in one lowering in stringing, prefabricated pipe for crossings. In all these cases, flat slings are mandatory. The touch point between the pipeline and the flat slings will be checked for damages of coating. If any, 
it will be repaired according to the approved procedure. At areas where it is impossible or impractical to use side booms to lower the pipe into position, alternative methods need to be adopted to install the pipeline in consultation with the representative of client. The string length shall be decided prior to weld or prepare with respect to the site conditions, especially for hilly terrain areas, slope terrains, sections with more bends to the ease of the lowering in safety. After lowering in, survey will be carried out as per client's requirement related with as-built survey. Spot backfilling will be used to restrain the pipe after it has been lowered into the trench. The maximum clear distance between spot backfills will be specified in, in project design and will cover the pipe at least 4.5 meter long. Open ends of the string shall be capped firmly in both of the sides to avoid further entry of any kinds of foreign material, water and living creatures until the temperature time activity. Now some specific point of safety in relation with lowering. A dedicated person will be appointed to monitor the site during lowering in. The moving equipment will not stand too close to the trench to prevent collapsing. The safety distance differs according to the site condition. No additional work will be carried out simultaneously with lowering in at the same work site. Care must be taken during lowering to avoid sliding of balance of the corresponding pipe stringing. That's why I have discussed at the beginning that the lowering needs a synchronized action. Each and every side boom operator shall have very nice coordination with each other. The lowering in supervisor and safety officer on duty will be employed to stop the ongoing lowering activity if any emergency occurs which includes but not limited to equipment breakdown, trench cave in and adverse weather conditions, etc. The operator shall not leave the controls of the equipment at any time while a load is attached. Rigger and flagman will give signal to the equipment operator whole time during lowering execution. Lowering in activity will not be performed if wind speed exceeding 32 km per hour. So friends, I have discussed the pipeline important process lowering where quality requirements are few as compared to safety requirements. This is a very specific and special safety operation in the total pipeline construction process. Hope you have now a clear idea pipeline welded string lowering activity. If you like my video, don't forget to share and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Signing off.